Okay, Wills, I'm ready to start motion about a foot port for the ground that's left on the Hagen tour. Starting motion. Good motion. Copy, good motion. Okay, that motion there. Stopping motion. That looks good. Motion uh, stopped. Now I need a, uh, it's actually a yaw body, yaw left. Um, if you can give me just a little bit. Get me squared up on that thought module. Okay, I copy. Yaw, body, yaw left. Station, for a station Houston on one for Shannon. Go ahead on one. Shannon, we need you to change your uh, unloaded parameters per step five. And Thank you, good call. And you'll be required to go to standby first. Copy. So just hang out there, wheels, while I update no my parameters. No problem. Thank you. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, Mission Control relaying a reminder up to uh, Shannon Walker inside the Destiny Laboratory module at the uh, Robotic Workstation controls, making sure that she's got the arm in the uh, proper configuration before she goes uh, moving uh, Doug Wheelock into position to begin uh, working with the replacement of the failed ammonia pump. Okay. I'll try and give you a glove check. If you can do it quick, I'm ready for it. Doug Wheelock uh, has uh, ingressed or entered the uh, foot restraint that he'll use on the end of the robotic arm so that he can become uh, part of a large crane or cherry picking operation to swap out this pump module. A lot of water down there. Tracy uh, Caldwell Dyson commenting on the amount of water uh, over the uh, South Atlantic as they make an equatorial crossing on a southeasterly course uh, about 200 miles above the surface of the planet. She is uh, finishing the configuration of the crew equipment translation aid cart and her portable foot restraint that she'll be uh, using on the end of that cart to anchor herself for the upcoming work. We're now two hours and 40 minutes into today's planned seven hour spacewalk. Crew uh, again uh, continuing to wrap up the preparations for the meat of the work to remove the failed pump. Okay, Wills, I've updated my parameters and I'm back in mode. And you say you want a body yaw left or a roll left? Um, actually, actually, a roll will, would help me as well. Just, just body roll left, and then I'm, I'm not too far from being squared up already. So. Okay, so you want your left hand closer? Yes. Copy. Starting motion. Oops, sorry, Will. Okay. <laughs> it happened right when he said starting motion. I was like, whoa, wait a second. <laughs> Are you going to be more starboard? I, I think I need to be kind of spurred up on the, um, okay. on the, the connectors, yeah? Yep. That helping, Will? Um, I'm not really feeling anything, but. Let me try this. I think this, uh... Yeah, that... Oh, hold, hold what you got right there, Shannon. You mean hold the motion in or, or uh, hold the position? Hold the position right there. Motion, motion stop. I don't feel like I'm square with the, uh, with the truss here, but... Can you see if the boot, looking. The boot okay. plate, uh, if it's squared up with the truss, I think I need to roll left. I feel like 
do anyway. I think I'm in a good position for M3, M4 right here. Okay, Actually, you're, um, I can see why you want y'all left, um, but I think you're in a good position. Yeah, I'm in a good position for M3 and M4. Just hold, hold this position, uh, you know. Okay, holding the position. Okay. All right, Oscar, we're ready for next steps. Hey, Wills, Wills. We caught your, uh, now that we have good helmet cam of the, uh, of M M1 and M3, we think we'd like you to try yeah, and, can you see that? yeah, we can see, we can even see that the bells oh. are not lining up. So what we'd like you exactly. to do is, is try pushing the button and see if you can move the bell, uh, 